All right, what is up? Here's a little tutorial for you guys having issues with proxies in Adobe Premiere 2017. So I ran across this problem the other day, figured out a solution, just figured I'd share it with you guys. And also I've seen just a lot of general uh, confusion on forums and stuff about how to use uh, proxies in Adobe Premiere. Um, so first off, a couple of things that you need to do. They're just very handy. Come over to your project window, metadata display, and you wanna to go to Premiere Pro Project Metadata. Scroll down, ah, too far. Make sure proxies are turned on, press okay. And now what that's gonna allow you to do is drag this proxy window over here. This is gonna be really handy so that when you're creating proxies, this is going to give you a status as whether the proxy is being created, if it's finished, and then whether it's attached. Sometimes if you move the folder where your proxies are going to, they're going to become detached. So this will just kind of let you know where they are. Um, now, another thing uh, that you might be having issues with, and this might be the fix for you. And if so, then you don't have to obviously watch the rest of the video is you want to go to edit preferences, general, and make sure that, oh no, I'm sorry, media, go to media, and make sure enable proxies is turned on. If this is turned off, even if you have a proxies created and attached to your files, uh, it's not gonna use them. It's gonna be using the original footage. So make sure that's enabled, press okay, go back to your window. And I do believe I already have a proxy created for this clip, let me check. I do. So you can see it's playing the proxy right now. Um, but like I said, if you go back to your preferences, media, and you turn that on, so, or turn it off, it's going to go back to the original footage. So when you go to create a proxy, you right click on the clip in your project window, go down to proxy, and then create proxies. And this is the just kind of default settings that will come up. So it'll, it'll usually look like this automatically. And uh, by the way, you have you can set a destination. So in this particular case, I've set up a folder in my footage folder, just called proxies. It's just nice to keep everything organized. And then press OK, and it's going to automatically open up Media Encoder. That's what it's supposed to do. Sometimes that won't happen. And then sometimes, I've noticed, sometimes you'll get this warning and it'll be obvious, okay, it's not working because the, the audio codec is messed up or whatever. But um, on the computer I was working on the other day, I was trying to help a friend with uh, the same problem. Uh, that message that message box was not popping up at all. So I don't know what your guys' experience has been, but basically the issue we were having on his computer is that it would open up media Coder like it was supposed to and then just nothing would happen. There was no error box, nothing like that, just nothing would show up in the queue. So there's nothing to render. So we're like, what's going on? Well, this is a pretty simple fix, pretty obvious. It's just once we figured it out, but we just had to change it to a different different codec. So in this case, I'm using QuickTime. Sure, this will be good. Press OK. And then that, and then it should pop up. So it's going to automatically ingest this footage is going to create the proxy. And then if I go back, I'll see it's attached. And if I go back to edit preferences, t -t 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 -t. media, enable proxies. And uh, now we're looking at the proxy. And something that's cool about proxies is that, I mean, really, especially if you're editing in a small project window, you really don't notice that big of a difference. So it's nice that you're still basically seeing a full resolution version of your video, but it's you know playing back in a codec that's much easier for the machine to use. Um, and then in the case that you're using some random camera, different cameras have different codecs and neither one of the default ones work for you. Uh, if you want, you can make a custom ingest preset um, by going to media coder create new preset. And now first, I, I did some digging around. You have to create an encoding preset first. So 
I'm gonna just call this uh, get wrecked preset encoding preset. And then uh, you can select all your different formats. Uh, I'm just gonna stick with H.264. Actually, no, I'm gonna go QuickTime. And it's ba -ba 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 video. Oh, something that's important is say if you're making a QuickTime preset, or I'm sorry, H.264 preset, um, you have to you have to set a custom width and height and a custom frame rate. If you don't do that, um, you'll get an error box and it'll say, if you leave it on match source, it won't work. It'll give you an error and says like for, uh, for croc proxy creation, you have to set the resolution and then the frame rate. So just make sure you set that if you're using H.264. Anyways, I'm gonna come back to QuickTime. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna use this GoPro Cineform. Quality for sure. Okay, so here's another case where I gotta make sure, set this. Seven, I mean, that's really low res, but the video doesn't really matter. Frame rate, like I said, you have to make, make sure you choose frame rate. And then, yeah, that's gonna look good. So press okay. And now you're gonna see that show up in media encoder under your user presets and groups. Now you can go back, create an ingest preset. And let's call this uh, Cineform 720 ingest. All right, uh, you're gonna wanna go to transcode Copy files to destination is like if you're gonna be pulling stuff off of a card that you haven't pulled onto your computer yet, but I'm gonna assume you probably already have the footage on your computer. So just do transcode. And then when you go to that wrapper, so in that case I use QuickTime, under presets you're gonna see that pop up. So I'm gonna use that get wrecked encoding preset. And all that looks good. Oh, by the way, you can put comments if you want to just give a quick explanation of what that preset does. I don't know if you if you work with other people, that's probably pretty nice to show them so they can know what you're doing, what what the preset does. Or if you make a bunch of these, you can remember what all your different presets do. Press OK. Now, when you go back to Premiere, let's choose a different clip. You don't have a no one set for. Let's see. This will do. All right, I'm gonna go to, go back to proxy, create proxies. And now where it says add ingest preset, click on that. Um, and if you don't know where the presets are, you have to go to, I don't know what it is for Mac, but for Windows, this PC, go to your local disk, users, whatever your user is. Uh, da, 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 and then go to documents. This is where it's set to go to by default. Adobe, Adobe Media Encoder 10.0, then presets, and then then it should pop up right there. So you open, there it is. It's added, and then I'm gonna press OK. It's gonna create, and now it's gonna adjust that footage with that preset that we just created, which is gonna be extremely low res, but for the sake of the video it gets the point across. And uh, by the way, if you know you're gonna be creating proxies for all the footage in your project, you can go to project settings and then go to ingest settings. And then if you check that, you're gonna wanna do create proxies. These different options are like copy, I think copies the, just makes a copy of the footage from like an SD card or something like that. Um, but anyways, you're gonna wanna use create proxy and then you can use your different presets. This is the one we just created. And uh, I'm not gonna click okay, but if you click okay, it'll basically just 
automatically uh, start ingesting all the footage in your project. So I don't need to do that. So I'm not going to do that. But if you want to do that, if you know you're going to be ingesting all this stuff, it's, it's good just to go ahead and do that at the very beginning and just let your computer run for an hour or so and it'll just automatically adjust, ingest all your footage and create proxies, which is handy if you have to do a lot of creating proxies. So looks like this finished. So here's that super low res 72480 proxy, but you can see it plays back super smooth. So anyways, I hope this answered some questions. If you have any other questions, leave a comment. And uh, I'm sure one day I'll eventually see that comment and I'll reply to that comment and uh, possibly we'll become lifelong friends. I don't know. Maybe we could start a chain mail. I could write you a letter. You could write me a letter. Just kind of see where it takes us, you know? It could be a beautiful thing. But now I hope you guys enjoy the video. And uh, oh, another quick advice is that uh, if you have a Mac, uh, you should probably take that outside and pee on it and uh, get a PC, join the master race, because Macs stink, and uh, you're probably gonna have a lot of issues playing back really high resolution, large codec stuff if you have a Mac, so RIP Mac users. All right, this is the end of this tutorial.